Hey everyone, while my tooth's feeling great, I thought I would get on here and show you what I have been doing to pass my time um, this past week. I have been making little scrappy tags, trying to use up all my tiny little bits of fabric and lace and, you know, bits and pieces. Um, so this is what I've done so far. Um, little little parcels of goodness um, just using scraps of um, fabric there's vintage fabric on here there's vintage lace there's um, vintage music papers um, I have two different sizes <coughs> excuse me I've been working on um, small ones which are two by four centimeters and this one here is three by five So this is what I have been doing. So I've been working upstairs. Um, I have some of these for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, you will get a variety. Um, I've got them listed as the small ones. I think 12 for $4 something. And then there's these ones here. You get six of these for the same price. So they're a little bit bigger. Um... But if you don't want to buy them, you can make your own and I will show you how. So I have got some started here. So with this one here, it's just a little bit of a little bit of tablecloth, I think, and some lace that I have. Now this lace here that I've been using, it's um oh, probably I don't know, about 40 odd years old, and I've got like a big piece of it. So I'm trying to use it sparingly so I've been cutting out bits for the tags I'll just try and find one here that I'll use if not I mm, know oh it's buried somewhere in there but anyway let's move on so with this one here I thought I would add a little bit of this um, just a scrap of vintage music paper so I'll stick that on there a little bit of Fabri-Tac well not Fabri-Tac, Fabric Glue um, this is the one I get from Spotlight oh and I'll take that with me there we go All Right. so I'll put that that way And I've got, I pulled a little part out here before because I was trying to video this and the video died. So I thought I'd try again. So these are just bits of, um, you know the bits that come off your fabric? <laughs> like the little scrappy bits. So there's cotton, there's bits of that, there's bits of that. And I just, um, bits of sari silk that's come off, you know, the sari sashes and stuff like that. So I try and mix it all up and make little fluffy things, if that makes any sense. So if I put that on there, and I really need to learn to put the glue, the lid on this, don't I? Okay, let's do that up. Alright, so I'll stick that on. I'll let that dry a little bit, and then I'll grab my bucket of... Um, what do you call these things? Bling. It's funny, you know, I was looking for a blue one the other day and I've got every other colour but blue, would you believe it? I don't know why I never bought blue. I might use some pink, maybe a pink one on here. Now, I've learned a trick. Now, I don't know whether anybody's done diamond painting, but you get these little tiny things that you pick your diamonds up with and stick on well I found that they also work a treat to pick up your bling so it's a lot easier to work with this honestly um, and every diamond painting you buy you get one of these so you only ever need one so I think I've got four or five of the things floating around somewhere all right but I'm over the diamond painting it's very time-consuming kind of rewarding 
but once you've done them you think what in the world am I going to do with them now so there's always that dilemma um, so I won't be buying any more so let's just stick that on there okay and there's another one done look at that isn't that beautiful so we'll put that up there to dry so I was working on that one when the camera decided to die it's just a little bit of leftover hessian or whatever you want to call it there okay so let's do a big one um, now the ink I used was walnut it was Tim Holtz walnut stain sorry I just knocked the camera um, walnut stain because it works better on this dark um, craft card that you get I mean you can use any color you want this is just my preference it kind of turns out a little bit more than the vintage photo you can use on no green pink blue whatever color floats your boat I guess but I just like the grungy look okay so let me get a little bit of this I think I got this out of a pack from Bonnie when I bought something from her I got a little bit of fabric it's like it's got a glittery sheen to it it's got glitter bits so anyone that I mention in this video as per usual I will leave the link down below for you to go and check them out and give them some love so if I put that there maybe a little bit of this um, cambric so if I put some maybe this cambric it's like a it's like cheesecloth but it's very very fine and it holds its shape it doesn't pull apart as much as cheesecloth does um, I will be putting some of this up for sale soon as well um, it's really good stuff to work with okay and I wish I could find my fabric scissors They're around somewhere so let me just chop I don't know maybe that off so these little bits that I'm pulling off now are the bits that I will chuck in my little pile here to use later on waste not want not that's what I say okay so let me trim it's just something to work on while you're watching TV or watching Netflix which I have been doing um, I've been catching up I was watching the following with Kevin Bacon in it actually and it was wasn't bad it was a series so now that that's finished <clears throat> um, I thought I'd better make some YouTube videos um, what else can I use what else can I use maybe a bit of that yeah that looks nice well, I feel like some red here I've got a little scrap of red here a little bit there doesn't matter if they're a little bit crooked <coughs> after all they are scrappy and this thing here is just a little bit of um, oh, I don't know what you would call it got a bundle of it and I'm slowly using it up I might put that on there actually okay so there we go let's stick it down that will do not much thinking involved which is what I like I don't like to think much these days especially when you've got a raging toothache oh my god god you guys I don't know whether you've had a bad toothache before but oh oh it just feels like my whole side of my face is going to explode I said to my husband just punch me in the side of the mouth <laughs> knock my tooth out it's so painful but he won't do it so I just gotta put up with it until I can get to the dentist I suppose So let me stick that down. I hope I'm in frame, guys. And is it still ticking over? Yep, it is. <clears throat> so let's hope this works. Oh, hang on, hang on. 
Why didn't you yell at me and say, you've got to put that down first? All right. Let's stick this down. There we go. So there's that. Then... Then that. Then our red. And I might put a little bit. Hang on, what other bling will I put? I might put some pearl or something there, maybe. I've got these little artificial pearls. And once again, this thing works a treat. Oh, let me try and tip that over. Oh, come on. It's like rolling the dice. There we go. So pick that up. So there we go. Nice little scrappy tags. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you what I've been up to. So if you come across any or you have a die one of those dies would be awesome you can make your own or i think you can buy punches now where you can punch out your own tags um and just make your own it is so much fun it really is let me stick that look at that that's perfect for there you can make them as fancy as vintage as you like um yeah just whatever that's a nice bit of oh that's pretty okay I'm going to trim that oh, actually no I won't trim it down I'll just pull pull it apart the frayed the better I think and once again I keep these little bits that I pull off because eventually they will get used if you bunch that up that I've just pulled off and add it with another colour. You get some really nice, nice effects. That's if you can be bothered doing it. Okay, do it that way. Not much thinking involved, she says, as she thinks a lot. <laughs> no, it's, it's very relaxing actually to do this. I I've, I've found it, um, found it good. Okay, let me stick that on, a little bit of this cambric gauze, this on, this is just a leftover, I think it's a cotton polyester that I've got from somewhere. And we can always use some music paper. Let me have a look. Okay. Wrong way. I think that's the wrong way. Right way. Do I need music paper? Or some of this? No. Actually, I like that. Let's let's do that. Something different. Yeah. Just numbers. <clears throat> okay, let me grab my vintage photo, and I shall give that a going over. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm working in silence, guys. Don't really have much to chat about apart from my tooth oh and the washing machine I had fun with the washing machine today it kept draining I was filling it up and the water kept draining out as quick as it filled so I'm thinking oh no I've, I'm gonna have to do everything by hand I might make that a bit smaller but we finally got it working so I'd say there's something wrong with the pump so hopefully hubby any spare time we'll have a look at it 
if not we're up for a new a new washer which won't be fun I think I've had this one 10 years the one we've got now we picked that up second hand 10 years ago so yeah I might use a bit more of this I love this stuff I wish I knew what it was it's like a very it's like a knit cotton it's um I think they were cleaning rags that I've got a hubby got a bag of them from um super cheap or something and as you can tell um they're no longer meant for cleaning rags I'm using them in my work <clears throat> so um once more he's lost his stuff <laughs> sorry hubby but you know craft comes before polishing cars all right so is everyone prepared for Christmas I haven't even thought about it oh my gosh I just have not thought about Christmas at all I don't want to think about Christmas how about a little love heart? Blue. Yeah, I might do that blue. Okay. I picked these up from one of the cheap shops around here, like our two dollar two dollar shops. Can't remember where, but I picked them up from one of them. How handy is this tool, guys? Look at that. and there's another one done well, the sky's the limit you can put um, little Tim Holtz figurines on you know like they're his paper dolls you can put your own artwork on and I've just stuck that to my finger as one does when she can't wait for things to dry alright so there's another one I'm not sure whether you can yeah, I need a new camera at some point, don't I? All right, so there's that. So you can just, yeah, you can have so much fun doing these guys. So I thought I'd just do a few with you um, and share the process. They're that easy. Um, and while I'm here, I will... Um, I'll chuck these in here because they're finished. And that can be for later. Let me get rid of these little scraps and put these in here. In my little scrap box. Okay. And <clears throat> I will show you what else I've been doing now I've made up some spray bottles of paint which I was very excited about let me just close that put that away move that all right now check out the colors now I'm not a very bright person <laughs> it's like neither am I mentally bright but I prefer um, grungy rusty you know like that kind of thing so what I'll do is I'll just try and move this out a little bit if it doesn't blow up on me in the process please don't stop oh you are kidding me I'm not sure whether it's working guys mm. it says it's not responding typical okay let's see if this is working yeah I can't find my hand in there so I don't think it okay guys back hopefully now it's working yeah when I tried to zoom out it froze the camera um, but anyway so I come across um, 
well, actually, it was my daughter and her partner come across some spray in one of the cheap shops, um, some paint, like powdered paint. So I made up my own little sprays, and aren't they gorgeous? The colours are so vibrant. Um, and I've used some homemade stencils that I made a while back, and I used these on my jelly plates. Um, it's just one of those plastic dividers that you put your, you know, documents in. And I've cut, um, obviously that one's rectangles. This was supposed to be circles, but, um, they're roundish, right? <laughs> anyway, so I've used those on here. Um, but I think they've turned out great. I love the colours. Like I said, I'm not a bright paint person but i think they're just um they're gorgeous it's probably um this is like a very bright vibrant yellow i'm not sure if the camera is picking that up but it is just lovely so i'll probably go back over this later with a, another spray or i might put it on my jelly plate and have that as a you know like a layer um and that's just drips that I've caught off the others. There's another one. There's one there. Oh, and that's just when I was emptying the nozzles out of the spray bottles. I give them a little bit of a, a spray, like a shake. Here's a just water one. So once I finish, I give them a good like that. So it just gets rid of the paint so they don't block up on me. So, well, actually, this one's got a bit of glitter in it. You see it? floating around in there so when you spray your pages um it sometimes blocks the nozzle but it's it's pretty good it's very fine fine glitter mist so anyway so i thought i'd share these with you before i go um using them was a lot of fun so i will do some more of these i need to make some painty papers like i said these were just practices on the back of um you know old documents and things like this um so anyway well thanks again for watching guys um i hope you enjoyed me making those tags i've enjoyed i've enjoyed making them for you um but like i said i do have them for sale in my etsy shop and um, if you want to make your own please give it a go they are so much fun um you can make christmas tags with christmas fabric actually there's a go if you want to stick around for a little bit longer if not you can turn it off and say thanks i watched it um i did get given some fabric by a lovely colleague at work um she brings me little scraps in from time to time well she dropped these off for me on thursday and i don't have christmas fabric i'm like i'm not really a christmasy person christmas you know yes it's for the kids but i don't get overly excited by christmas or birthdays they don't really interest me so um so she's given me some really nice um christmas fabric as well so i thought look at this isn't this beautiful look at that so i get as you can tell i get excited over little bits of fabric even if you know as if i haven't got enough of it um so we can always do a christmas tag i suppose Look at this. Isn't this one gorgeous? This is like a thick, like a very thick um, calico or something. It's very, very nice. I'm not sure whether you can hear my chicken up the back. She's um, going crook about something. It's probably Chad. Chad's probably up there chasing them around as he does. Um, so, yeah, I've got some really nice fabric here little bits of stuff like that so we could always make a quick christmas one yeah why not okay so we might do one small well, actually do i have a big one yes i do so we'll do one small and one big and see how we go let me grab my fabric down again and i will 
see if I can move you in. If I move you in, are you going to freeze? Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed it doesn't. Mm, I bet it has. Oh, I shouldn't have touched it. Should not have touched it. Okay, guys, back again. Um, so once I've done this, hubby will work his magic, fingers crossed that he, he does, and we can get back on track. Okay, let me grab my fabric glue. Put a little bit on this tag. They're very addictive. Once you start making these, it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's... You just can't stop. I'll put a little Santa, oh not Santa, what do you call it? One of those snowmen on here. So there's that. And I got a little bit of Christmassy stuff from last year left over so I might cut out oh hang on there's a frayed bit it's gonna look nice there isn't it right so let me chop that and I'll chop that just a little bit up here in the corner stick a little bit of bling to After I put a bit of this on, it's just a little bit of um, cheese. This is cheesecloth. Put that on there. And let's see if I've got what colours do I have? Oh, I have reds. Maybe I might just use green though. Maybe green. Let me find my. Now what have I done with it? <sighs> Where do I put that? Okay, I've lost my stick. I don't know where I put it. No, well, we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Hopefully, yeah, I put a green. Right. Hmm. Do you think I would have put that somewhere where I would find it? Huh? Oh, there's some gold. I have gold, maybe. See, once you start overthinking, that's when you have problems. Don't overthink, guys. Just just do it. Because <laughs> I overthink and then my brain gets foggy and then I kind of... Um... Ah, there we go. Found it. Found it. Okay. Let's glue the red down. Let's glue that down. I don't think I'll worry about the shiny fabric. It's very pretty. Oh. No. Nah. And then I'll glue me stone down. A little bling. Okay. And there's a little Christmas one. There we go. Anyway, guys. I shall let you go. You probably watched me enough. <laughs> Two videos in one day. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day, evening, slash morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, take care of yourselves. Give your loved ones a hug. They're precious. And until next time, I will catch you all later. Bye for now.